Hello everyone, this is Esan. In this video, we are going to write some user defined function where we are going to use some of the methods that we have seen in the previous videos uh, with the string object and use them to do create some new user defined functions of our own. Uh, one of them would be to count the number of occurrence of a certain character inside a string. So, for example, h in hello is there is only one occurrence of h then we might want to remove a certain character from a string using the uh, idea of function creation which is considering pass by value uh, so if we give the arguments as pass by value then we will do something similar by using pass by reference then we at the end the user function that we are going to show is given a string it is going to represent a diamond form of that string uh, we will understand all these things uh, shortly just as a reference and a disclaimer that these examples are adapted from uh, uh, a course from Stanford uh, which uses the similar library and um, so that's it so let's dive in dive in uh, so imagine we have a string string I don't know well, let's say string string s is equal to Wow, wow, wow. And we want to uh, compute the number of occurrences of W in the string. So we want to compute the occurrence of a certain character in a string. Here we want to say that at the end it will return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If it, and if it doesn't find something, it returns something else. Uh, uh, indication that it don't find something. So what we want to do is we want to say like C out and then we say uh, count the number of times char occurs and we pass in this string S and it should return an integer specifying control V uh -oh. return an integer specifying what happened uh, how many times the character occurs so this is top-down design fashion that we are going to write the code it's no other uh, we are going to write this function it's not yet there one way to do it is just going to say we are going to return this function returns an integer the name of the function is this and the type that it takes as input uh, is string s and that's a function prototype that we always have to provide uh, it's a good practice and then we do it here so <clears throat> so we want to return uh, the number of counts right so we say integer uh, num counts and we initialize it to zero and see you always have to initialize a variable that you're going to use and at the end you're going to return int counts that's what you do so it takes in a string and it returns integer which is the number of counts so what we could do is we could just say for int i is equal to so we look character by character and if we find something we update this if we don't find something we don't update so what we do is basically what we, then we check uh, s dot length here the string is passed by a value so we pass a copy of the string um, and then we do i plus plus so whatever changes we do to the string does not stick at the end so uh, that's okay now what we do is we say if uh, s so if at position i or index i in the string we find the value uh, what we are looking for so we actually forgot something so we need to actually not only provide this we also have to say that we want to uh, search the character w I forgot about this I should have mentioned it so that let's say it again that so the idea is I provide a string s and it takes in a character value that we want to count how many times it occurs in the string and we pass the string as a pass by value both these things are passed as va by value uh, using the pass by value concept uh, which we'll talk later or yeah so 
what we do here is we also update this thing over here so these are mistakes that you have to take into consideration so this is a uh, search se search card this is the connector that we want to search and then we update our name over here function name over here and we say that if the character at index position i in the string object s is equal to the search character we increment the count otherwise we do nothing so what we do is we basically go one by one so we go here we go here and check if this is w if it's w we increment the count by doing this uh, and at the end it ret returns something and um, it returns the number of counts and if it doesn't find anything in that case it simply returns zero because this doesn't get updated so let's run this and see if it works so how many times do you think w will occur so it's one two three four five and six so the result should be six so we are searching the string s for the character w and we want to know how many times it occurred the character w and so what we do again we give the string and the search character as passed by value to the function and it searches every index position of the string and if it finds something if it finds the search character that we are looking for in that case it increments the number of counts and else it doesn't not do nothing it does not do anything so at the end this will be updated to the appropriate value so let's run this control r let's see if we get six yes it works imagine if there was let's override this string to i don't know let's override this thing to cat in that case there is no w so we can just do this let's do this over here there is no cat over here so we pass this cat string or the string object which has a value cat inside and we are looking for the w, character w inside it and we know there is nothing so it should return zero does it work let's see it indeed returns zero so that's it that's the first one that we have worked on so this is done let's move on to the number two one